Hello, I'm Eileen Gomez. I'm a school nurse, and this year I'm serving as the COVID coordinator for Almond County Public Schools. I'd like to take a few moments to explain to you some of the strategies we are implementing in our schools to help protect the safety and health of our staff and students. We will continue with these measures should we move to stage three. These strategies are based on the guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Virginia Department of Health, and our local health department. You're probably familiar with the pillars of infection control upon which these measures are based. They include distancing, that's maintaining six feet between others, face masks or face coverings, which will be required for all students and staff, continual disinfection and cleaning, of our of surfaces and staying home when you are sick. I'm going to show you what the procedure looks like when students arrive at our school. This is Nurse Bevis, and she is going to check the students in. This is what it will look like when the children first arrive. Our policy requires that all students and staff wear masks. If a student arrives at school without a mask, we have some that we can um, have a student wear. Good morning, Nick. How are you morning. today? Good, how are you? I'm going to get your temperature, okay? Lift up your head. Okay, 98 degrees. You're good. Go ahead and get some hand sanitizer okay. and go on to school. Hi. Right. Have a good day. You too. Good morning, Vera. How are you today? Good. I'm going to go ahead and get your temperature, okay? Okay. Okay. Get some hand sanitizer and go on to class. Thank you. Thanks. Have, have a good day. day. I'd like to introduce you to Lindsay Snoddy, who is our Deputy Director of Building Services. Hi, I'm going to walk you through all the precautions that we have for your children in our classrooms in, in preparation for a return to school. In a typical classroom, we have it set up so we have six feet at least between each desk, and there's enough space for children to have their own area and safely stay six feet from others and the teaching space. In every classroom, we have hand sanitizer, and we also have disinfecting wipes that are intended for the teachers to use as they need throughout the day to maintain disinfected surfaces. Our custodial crew is working hard in the rest of the building, making sure that high-touch surfaces are disinfected throughout the day, including restroom spaces throughout the day. And at night, we have extra custodial staff who are going to be disinfecting the buildings. We have a large night crew, so at night when your children are at home, they'll be making them safe, the spaces safe for the next day. In every classroom, we have an air purifying device. This has a HEPA filtration unit, and it also has an ionizing unit. This is something common in every space, and also with our HVAC systems, we've increased the amount of outside air we can bring into the spaces wherever possible. We've also upgraded the filters in the units wherever we can do that and have the equipment still function properly. So these are common things that we have in all spaces to make sure that we're keeping the spaces safe for your children. While we're also increasing the amount of outside air delivered by our HVAC systems, we are running the HVAC systems before the children come to school and after the students leave for the day. So we have a lot of building flushing during each day. In the event that we have to quickly disinfect surfaces, we have one of these misting devices at each school location. This allows us to cover all surfaces very quickly with disinfectant. We also use traditional methods like wiping surfaces down with disinfectant to safely disinfect the spaces. In all schools, we've installed additional bottle fillers that are sensor operated, and we've turned off all the bubblers. So these, the bubblers will not be used, but all students will have access to the sensor operated bottle fillers in the schools. And we've also laid out different markers on the floor so students have six feet between them while they're waiting for a restroom break. We've installed signage throughout the building to help students remember different practices. We have hand washing signs in the classrooms that have sinks and also in the group restrooms throughout the building. We have distancing signage in the hallways and also building expectation signage is at the front of each school. In addition to the measures in the classroom, we have signs out, up throughout the building that remind people of the journey control measures that we're asking. What are the steps that would be involved when a student comes to the clinic and has symptoms of COVID? Oh, that's a good question. The school nurse will evaluate that student, and if the symptoms are symptoms that could be COVID, 
the nurse will call the parents and ask the parents to bring the child for medical evaluation. And we'll have the physician determine whether or not COVID testing is warranted. If a student is exhibiting symptoms or has a fever, the student will be sent to the isolation room. The reason that they are put in the isolation room is to protect them from being in contact with other students and other staff. While they are in the isolation room, they will be required to wear masks. And during their time in the isolation room, we will notify their parents and have their parents get further evaluation from their physician. And if there is more than one student, we will maintain social distancing. And if the child tests positive, then we will work with the health department to identify close contacts. And the close contacts, which are people who are within six feet of the person who tested positive for 15 or more minutes, those children will be asked, those students will be asked to quarantine for 14 days. This is, a, this is the policy by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and our local health department. For the most up-to-date information, please go to our website, which you'll see the tab for Return to School, and it has all of our health policies and procedures. Thank you, and please stay safe.